A hammer and an army carbine. When I was a fighting man, I used the very same. Now here's what really happened in the hanging gardens. The calamity took everybody after all. Kids sees a plain, frozen faces all around. You don't much care to see him. Not like this. These folks never saw the calamity coming. But someone did. Someone close. Someone who ain't like Mr. Beckley and his kindly wife. It was someone like him. Something so familiar about that man. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. He ain't about to stop. No matter what, he's got so many questions after all. Just ain't got time for answers. The Tunder brothers didn't make it. They never saw what it was like beyond the walls. Nor did the bird boy didn't make it. The Jawsons, they didn't make it. Grady Sr., Grady Jr., they didn't make it. But him, he survived. Kid finds proof enough that man ain't from around here. Just think, without that man, we wouldn't be here right now, would we? The core survives as well. Kid does what he has to do. And then... What do you say to a man who's seen too much? Kid hasn't a clue, but he says this. We have to go. Please. He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding, he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other for the first time. 